As fun as VR is, these are ruining the experience. How can I be immersed with no legs and using an Xbox nipple to move around? In this video, we're gonna look at a potential solution that can take VR to the next level. Let's go! This method of locomotion is not only completely boring, but can also lead to all kinds of other problems from simple headaches to full-on motion sickness. But why do we get motion sick? Well, it's because our brain is trying to keep us safe. You see, the internal ear is responsible for telling our brain when we're off balance, so that the brain can send signals to the rest of the body to gain it back. But that's all combined with the information our eyes provide, so that we don't try to regain balance by jumping off a cliff. Well, in VR, these two inputs are having a fight, with the internal ear telling our brain we're not not moving, but the eyes telling it were hurling through zero gravity in the game. So the brain takes this info and makes the only logical decision our prehistoric mind can comprehend, that you've been poisoned and you're hallucinating. So naturally, it tries to ensure your well-being and get rid of the poison from the body, aka you might hurl both your lunch and dinner. So now that we know what causes motion sickness, let's try and see what our options are to fight it. There's homemade temporary actions you can take to minimize it, like eating some ginger before playing, taking motion sickness pills, or even these wristbands that promise to decrease motion sickness while looking like the biggest scam on earth. But anyway, if you don't believe in homemade remedies and are ready to spend some of that hard-earned cash, then you have things like the cyber shoes, which seem like a good concept but only work while sitting down. Then there's the catwalk VR, which looks great but it's quite big and also, I'd rather not sell my car to afford one. So what's left? Well, the answer might be these tiny trackers. I was recently contacted by a company trying to fix that exact problem. Now, this video is not sponsored by them, so you're getting my honest feedback here. Okay, so what are they? Well, they're basically a bunch of sensors, but where the magic really happens is in the software. They connect to your PC via Bluetooth, so they're completely wireless, and I'm also connecting my Quest 2 via virtual desktop, so no need for any wires at all. You put one on each knee and ankle, and one on your chest. Then you just go through a quick calibration, and once you jump in your favorite VR game, magic. You can actually walk by moving your legs and simulating a walking movement. And the cool part is, depending on how quick you move, you'll walk slowly or run in the game. How cool is that? They worked in every game I've tried, from Half-Life Alex to VR Chat, And it feels very different walking like this as opposed to, you know, the nipple. You can set them up just the way you like using the OVR portal software, from sensitivity to more advanced functionality like decoupling that we're gonna talk about in a minute. You can strafe left and right or backwards by just leaning your body in that direction, which might look a bit silly, but then again VR generally does from outside the headset. It feels very natural and you get used to it pretty quickly. Going back to motion sickness, it tricks your brain more than you'd think, and moving your legs in place while you walk in game is something that helps even if you don't have these trackers and are just using the thumbs so it's even better when the movement is tied to your in-game locomotion directly. Now there are a few other things you can do with the walkovers. As you probably know, most games give you the option to choose whether you want your movement to be controller based, aka walk forward in the direction your controller is pointing, or head based, which is the same except it uses your head direction. But these allow you to use your body's direction as the reference point. So by choosing the decoupling option within the software, you'll be able to run in one direction while looking and shooting in the other. The battery life is about 4 hours, so not great, not terrible. And of course, since they connect via Bluetooth, there's no need for base stations like the Vive trackers use. Now, that's both a positive and a negative, because while it does make them cheaper, it doesn't provide nearly the same one-to-one -one accuracy for motion capture. Cause yeah, these also have an experimental mocap mode, which doesn't work great for the most part, but it's still fun to play with, and if you already have these for locomotion, definitely worth trying out the mocap too. So should you buy these? Well. It depends. If you're looking for a solution to motion sickness and enhancing immersion, then yes, I found these to be pretty good for the price. And while I have the $249 5 note package, you actually just need two of these for the locomotion side of things and you can get a twin pack for just $119. And to grab, the founder of Walkover was nice enough to give me an additional 10% discount for you guys, so check out the link below. If on the other hand you're looking for full body tracking as the main reason for buying them, then I would honestly keep saving up until you can afford a solution that is dedicated to mocap since even with the full 5 tracker mocap package, it's just an experimental feature that will not be able to compare with a dedicated solution. I'm on a constant quest to better and more immersive VR so consider joining me on this journey by subscribing. I hope this was a fun video to watch and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!